Customs Lincoln Continental Air Ride Kit and you're ready to install, you'll want to start by taking off the leaf springs. You'll need to remove the front hanger bolts, rear hanger bolts, and U-bolts. The exhaust will need to be removed from the rear seat's back to make clearance for the new cross member. On the 61 to 63, there is a shock cross member. This will be replaced with the new one. It's time to remove the bump stop and shocks. Remove the bump stop on the differential. You'll need to remove the factory bump stop pad off the body for the new cross member to fit properly. The leaf spring perches on the rear end will need to be removed for the new lower four link mounts. When installing the new shock cross member, this will bolt in the stock location. The front four link mount will bolt in the front leaf hanger location using the same bolts. Time to install the bag cross member. When installing, start towards the floor pans and swoop up into the proper location. Now we are ready to install the four links to the car and get them ready for the rear end. Remember to measure front to back and left to right to ensure the rear end is straight. Once the rear end is straight, the upper and lower four link mounts can be welded on. With the lower bag plate attached to the bag, bolt the bag to the cross member and lay out the suspension. Now you can tack the plate to the lower link. After we finish welding the plate to the four link, that will wrap up the Devious Customs Lincoln Continental Air Ride Kit.